so what's up? Okay, so right now I feel like we have been besties for some time now, but you haven't told me any secrets of yours. And I think we should share it since we are besties. Why don't we share secrets? Why don't you tell me your deepest secrets? Your deepest secret? Yeah. Okay, that is a good idea. Miss Nabi. So you should start. Ladies first. Start. Ladies first. Start. You always know like. No, you should start. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask you a question. Okay. And I need a direct answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope you are fine with that. Yeah. When was the last time you had sex? Really? Is that a first question to ask? I don't think that's the right question. Maybe you can ask that question some other day. Are you trying to hide something? No. What am I hiding from my bestie? Nothing. Why? So you just tell me. Tell I just don't want to talk about it. Are you foolish? I don't know. What is going on? Nothing. You're not friends. You are best friends. Okay, okay, fine. It's okay. Two years ago. Really? Yeah. Two years. I for you. It's just normal something. I, I know you, you. You have a boyfriend. How do you cope with that? Oh, my fiance and I decided not to have sex until we get married. So it's our decision. Really? Yeah. Wow. How how is that possible? We just decided not to. Is it your decision or his? His decision. And I agree with it. Well, you know, due to science. Science has nothing to do with this. So let's not go there. Science has nothing to do with this. Mm -mm. Science has nothing to do with this. Why are you trying to escape this? I'm not escaping this. I'm just being real. Like. No. Do you know how it feels when you haven't had sex for a long period of time and you want to have one? Oh. I think you have to experience that. <sighs> Yeah, sometimes I wish to, but then, how? Because my boyfriend and I decided not to. And I just want to obey the rules governing the relationship, so I just have to wait. You look beautiful. I'm good and you? I'm also fine as you can see. I'm fine. I'm fine. Why did you call me? <laughs> you know you are the only person I can call in times of this. The only person I can confide in because I'm going through a lot. I'm going through a lot. See, my wife's behavior recently, I don't understand. She has changed totally. What? Can you believe that when I go close to her, she just turned me off. She goes like, I, I'm, not, I'm tired, I'm not in the mood, I, I, I want to sleep, I want to have rest. For so many times. No. And the worst really. part of it is that she can be on the phone and be talking with these friends of hers 
She can talk as late as 2 a.m. What? When I'm sleeping, she's just making call. She goes out of the house. From morning, she will come in the evening. Sometimes in the night, no food in the house. She has refused to cook. She has refused to respect me in the house. She sees me as nothing. What? This is strange. So you mean your wife does not care for you again? But what might have caused a sudden change? Do you think something is wrong with her? Definitely, Albert, something is wrong. Because I don't understand her anymore. This thing, I, I remember it all started when she asked that she wants to celebrate her birthday. And okay. that she wants me to take her to Kempiski. That's where she wants to go and celebrate her birthday. Wait, what are you trying to tell me? But she knows all that you people have been through. Hmm? You, even, you, you even told me that you have to borrow some money in, in order to beautify your wedding and stuff. And we have not even finished paying all those bills. And I spoke to her that, look, we have a lot of things to take care of. So take it easy. Everything will be fine. Hey, then more kerosene in the fire. She just don't want to give me space to talk. Once I, I start, I want to say something. She said, hey, she's angry. She walks away from me. I'm beginning to suspect her. I'm beginning to suspect she's having an affair. Because she can talk late at night. And I suspect vividly that she's talking to a man. Yes. I suspect that she's talking to a man. <sighs> it's, it's really choking me. It's really, really choking me. I'm going through hell in that house. What? I don't know what to do. This is serious. This is serious than I thought. Can you imagine sometimes she even goes to bed wearing a jean strap? What? Meaning I should not even touch her. When I touch her, then she goes angry. Listen, be patient. Be patient and try to pay deaf ears to all her bad ways. I know we women, we are troublesome. Anytime she tries to say hateful things to you, just pretend. Pay deaf ears to her. You know how women we behave sometimes, okay? And besides, I and your wife, we are friends. So I'm going to try my best and talk to her. I'll do that. I'll do my possible best for her to change. Mm? And trust me, fighting will not solve any problem. If you will not do it, it will get out of hand. So just be patient in dealing with her. And besides, your wife and I, we are good friends. So I'm going to talk to her also about it. And trust me, she will change. Please do. Please do. You are the only person I know. You are the only person I can talk to. Because we all agree together. Do you that. understand? Don't Please worry. do. Because it's choking me. I'm really dying. Please try and talk to her for me. Please. I and I really, really appreciate your efforts. You have always been there for us. You are Thank welcome. You. Besides, what are friends for? Mm? Sure. You always help me in time of needs, no matter how the situation may be. And besides, I'm showing you the same favor you showed me when I needed you, okay? Okay. Alright, thank you so much. Um, please do, please try and talk to him. Hello, Sissy. Hello, Monica. Yay. Yeah. Where you are? Is there anyone with you? No, I'm now going to the house from school. Good. Your husband just called me. He was like, we should meet. And we just met. And he was complaining that you deny him of his right. You don't cook, you don't do all that. Listen. Now I know that you have been taking my advice. Listen, just continue, okay? Don't mind him. He asked me 
to talk to you. So when you go home, just pretend as if I have, I have talked to you, okay? Hmm? Pretend as if I have talked to you. And then, do you know, he was trying to tell me that he's going to report you to your mother. Don't let that happen. Okay? Okay. Don't let that happen. And besides, now, whatever you need, just tell Marvin. Marvin is going to provide everything you need for you. Okay? Okay. That's what real means that. Whatever you need, just mention it. Mention it and you are good to go. He will do all for you, okay? Hmm. Okay. I've heard you. Okay. All right, good girl. Bye. Bye. So when will this old man grow up? Just small issue. You've sent it out. You can't solve your problems in the house. You've sent it out. I'm going to tell my mother. We shall see. Let's go. Go and tell my mother. no one to turn to in times of need. Now I am penniless. I'm calling my brother and he's not picking up his calls. God, what do I do? Who do I turn to? And I'm hungry. Hmm. Who do I run to now? And now this guy is introducing me to woke up. It's against my faith and belief. Should I go with the offer? No, I can't. I wasn't raised up this way. No matter what, I can't. But then what do I do? I'm hungry. Hmm. I think I have to try 
other means of getting money for feeding. Let me see and submit some applications to see if anyone can hire me as a student. But even at that, who will hire me as a student? Still schooling and working? I don't think so. Now, I see the plant is. You know, this thing will be something I will just rush inside. I need like four, five girls. Okay. See, so just they come down, see the plant. Okay. See this? I just monitor people, they monitor them. Mm -hmm. I monitor them. I don't get some one or two, but I don't want to talk to them. I just they raise me their top things. <laughs> I'm going to be here. I just leave. So, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm going to the house. I need money. Mm. Uh, Who do you have here? Mm. Where does Sister Favor? Hey! Hey! I'm going to sound you here. Her name now, Madam Cynthia. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Madam Cynthia. Yeah. Let's see Carrie you come here. But I know so you know the join this kind of thing. Mm. Uh, hey. Um I came to see you. Okay. Uh, to have some discussion with you. Okay. Talk. I know that you are not coming to preach up here. No. Okay, nothing like that. Madam Cynthia, um, I know you're a pastor, daughter. Yes. So, uh, me, I'm just a Christian from a Christian family. Okay. Uh, so I came to discuss with you as a pastor, daughter. Just go straight to the point. Okay. Uh, I just want to discuss with you. Talk. I want to join your hookup group. Uh, I need to make money, so I want to join. As a pastor daughter, you are doing it. So me too. Who am I? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally. No say if you do. When they waste time, all these are they carry back for the Lisha la shala. No worry. That's just like me. You don't get any choice. So I understand. I don't accept you. But this group, there'll be something to carry please. No be no be almost nothing, no be smoky the thing. No be something you could do left and right, left and right. You could just do straight. They hear me. You they hear me. I know you you these preachers. You will say it now. We enter preach now, you carry our name they preach. I don't like her. Let's see you get me go tell her. Okay, I walk on. Thank you. She don't want to come you. Thank you, ma. I'll give you information.